Tim Tebow and Danny Warfel were in attendance here this afternoon as the number 22 Florida Gators upset the number five LSU Tigers in the Swamp 27-19. The significance of those two players being here is the fact they do have statues outside this stadium. Many more days like this and, and the new group of Gators who come in now under Dan Mullen in year one are gonna be looking at uh, some type of accolades, maybe not statues, but anyway, it was Felipe Franks this afternoon after LSU had driven down the field and took a 19-14 lead, Franks was extra. He completed a 26 yard pass up along the left sideline, then ran on a third and 10 off a quarterback draw off the right side for 13 yards. Very next play, he found himself in the pass pattern. He uh, looked like a sweep left to uh, Lucas Kroll, the tight end. Franks was uncovered out on the right side, Kroll threw a throwback pass. The Gators got 15 yards down to the two yard line and then LaMichael P. Ryan scored his second touchdown of the afternoon as Florida took a 20 to 19 lead and would never surrender. L LSU had lots of problems uh, running the football. Uh, you know, uh, now let's break it down. Nick Rosette was 11 for 16 early in the fourth quarter but they had a couple of delays, a couple of draws. He had a 47 yard and a 31 yard run. He got back to his 96 yard average, but that was it. He only hurt uh, Florida on that one drive. And uh, you know, for a moment, it looked like it might be enough uh, for LSU to pull the game out. It was definitely a defensive battle, even though the score says 27 to 19. In fact, Brad Stewart's interception sealed the deal basically uh, with just over a minute to play. LSU quarterback Joe Burrow threw out into the left flat. Stewart broke on the ball, he jumped the route and he had a 27 yard return for the uh, uh, score, which uh, you know boosted the Gators up here now to a point where if they take them one at a time, Come November, or October 27 in Jacksonville, that Florida-Georgia football game all of a sudden is going to be like it was back in the days of Steve Spurrier, Urban Meyer, and these guys that coached here. Dan Mullen putting his, uh, uh, you know, his uh, stamp on this football team here now early uh, as they've won three in a row. They have gotten a whole lot better since the Kentucky game. I think at the end of the season, uh, when they look back at Kentucky, Florida's going to, you know, kind of say, hey, you know, we'd love to have that game over. We'd like to uh, have a shot at them as they've improved. Uh, P. Ryan, um, you know, was great on the afternoon, 85 yards on 17 carries, two scores. Jordan Scarlett, 65 yards on 14 carries. Gives Dan Mullen a good change up. Uh, you know, in um, uh, his backfield and allows the Gators to keep running uh, more physical. For LSU, it was a tough loss. They've got a really tough uh, upcoming s schedule here as Georgia, Texas A&M, and Auburn are all, um, you know, lining up here in October. Coach Ed Orgeron, uh, you know, had done a really good job to get these guys to number five in the country. And for a while, after the Brosette touchdown, it looked like maybe the Tigers would pull this out. Final score here from Florida Field, the Gators 27, LSU 19.